create an EPS first for our project. Click on add. I'm going to name a project as Signature Tower. Signature Tower. And let's give it an idea of SIG. And click close. Now let's add project to a project band. Click add. Now it will ask in under which EPS do we want it. Select, select on EPS band and click add. Then click on finish. Now let's give a name to a project Signature Tower. Let's copy the name. Copy. Make sure you click at the end. Was when you click at the end, it will select the whole name. Click at the middle, it will only select the first half. So click at the end and then paste. Okay. And now give an ID G dash one. Okay. So now think the next thing is to do is select a calendar. But we will cover calendar in the next topic. Okay. Right click open project. Now we have a GAN chart, we have an activity chart, and now you can see your activity chart is completely empty. So we need to start creating my adding WBS and then adding activities. Yeah. So we'll go to the WBS band. People usually get confused with WBS of project and WBS of an activity. WBS of project is bringing down the project into elements like substructure, superstructure, finishes whereas breaking down an activity WBS is breaking down it into a subtasks ok so I hope that's clear click at this level click add let's name it as substructure substructure then again click at this level press add and then super structure okay now let's bring it down if I click at this band and press add the next WBS will indent itself under that level so that is why it's really important to see the WBS band you want under which level do you want it do you want it at the high level and do or do you want it at the secondary level okay let's delete this now we can go to the activities layout. Now we can see our WBS is created, substructure and superstructure. Now click on group and sort. For those people who cannot see this, that is because you have this tick. If you have this tick, the WBS band won't show because high ref MD indicates if the WBS is empty without any activities, it won't show. So make sure you untick it and then press apply and then click ok now let's break it down into further the WBS level click on WBS let's click over here press add first we'll give it this level let's call it B2 B2 2 B1 level ok and let's add activities under it B2 B1 level Similarly, create one more level. Let's call it B1 to ground floor. Go to superstructure. Let's create five more levels. Click add. Click add. Click add. Click add. And then click add. And then it goes as ground floor to L1. L1 to L2, L2 to L3, L3 to L4, L4 to L5. Okay, coming back to the activity layout, you can see the WBS band for 5 level is made. Okay, going back to WBS, click on the B2 to B1 band, and then click add. Let's add columns and slabs. Let's see columns and slab. Okay, now let's further break it down to two level. Let's make it a 
one as column and click again at this level since we want it under this click at this level again click add and click type slabs okay now coming back to the activities now we see for those who doesn't see any changes you can refresh all the changes will be made automatically now let's add activities for this WBS band let's click add now see we get an activity ID of A1000 that is because the project is set to an activity prefix of A activity ID suffix of 1000 and I add an increment of 10 now let's bring it down to 0 and let's go to activities now we can give an ID of ourselves or let's call it SIG dash B1 dash CL dash 100 so let's call it as column rebar columns rebar SIG indicates a signature tower B1 indicates a B1 level C1 indicates column and 100 is the numbering now let's add one more activity add now you see since we have set it add an increment of 10 the numbering will automatically set itself to 10 now let's type column shutter click add column concrete okay now let's do the same for slabs press add press ig SIG dash B1 dash SL dash 100 signature B1 level slab 100 let's call it slab decking add slab rebar slab concrete for the simplicity let's give all activities a finish to start link so click at the first activity press shift click on the last activity and then right click and then link activities now you see activities connected to each other they are all linked now let's go over here Press schedule. Now you see we have the perfect activity relationship going on. Now let's do it in a faster pace for five levels. I'll teach a shortcut. Click on WBS, click on columns and slab, right click copy, click and beyond the ground floor since we need it for another level. Right click, paste, and go OK then ok and then we have three options over here we'll select third one and now it is showing replace number character of six and replace with so let me show you what is this now how many characters do we need to replace we need one two three four five and six go to wbs and then right click and then paste again okay okay then place six characters you can type s i g s i g s i g dash and now we're going to ground floor so let's name it as s i g dash ground floor click okay now coming back to activities now you see the activities for ground floor is made now we have signature b1 level slab over here we have signature ground floor level slab for the five levels and go to wbs level right click copy and then paste okay 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 press l1 
it is done I will click at this level paste ok ok press L2 go to another level press L3 Another level L4 paste L5. Okay, now come back to the activities level. We can see all activities up to level 5 has been created and you can see the activities over here but there's a problem you see this activity doesn't have a successor these activity doesn't have a successor this activity doesn't have a successor so what we need to do is click on this activity press control select this activity right click link activities now you see link has been created now. now do it for other level click on this activity click on this activity right click and then link activities click on this activity click on this activity right click link activities select this activity select this activity right click link activities select this activity select this activity right click link activities select this activity select this activity select. okay now we see the activity link now let's schedule now we can see that we have created slab schedule up to five level Thank you for watching, until next time.